Look, we know the Yankees have been all kinds of banged up, right? And, and they're going to be for a while. Guys are out for a long time, a lot of them. But they've got plenty of guys who can still hit fish, right? So for you, yeah. who are you looking at to make a difference and kind of carry this thing while everybody else is hurt? Well, I think as we were talking earlier, I mean, there's three guys on the DL now with 20-plus homers from last year, right? So to have guys come in and fill the void... That was funny. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go with my boy Luke Voigt. I see what you're one. doing. You're going yeah, with Luke Voigt. Right? You see that? I, I understood. That's all right. That's all right. That. I fell flat. I'm all right with that. Uh, but I think that, but you got to know, this dude hit 333 last year with 14 homers in only 39 games. Struggled a little bit this year, especially with runners in scoring position. Only hitting a buck 50. With Giancarlo out of that lineup, somebody's going to have to hit behind Aaron Judge. And I think this guy's capable of doing it. He can't put too much pressure on himself. Hey, Guys like Clint Frazier have come up and filled the void as well. Yeah, you know, so you, you mentioned the three guys with the 20-some home runs. You've got Stanton and, and Hicks and uh, Didi, right? Mm-hmm. Is it one guy? One guy isn't going to fill nope. that void. And so, you know, you mentioned, you know, Luke Voigt. But, you know, I'm going to go with DJ LeMahieu, uh, Clint Frazier, Sanchez having the big home right. run. I mean, I, I right. think, you know, he's leading the team in home runs. Frazier's got nine RBIs. So they're, they're as deep a team as anybody, mm-hmm. right? So if you told me, hey, let's do without Stanton and Hicks, most teams would be saying, you got to be <laughs> yeah, like, There's no deep, way we can you know do what. that. But the, the Yankees are so deep, they're going to they're gonna be fine. I think Sanchez, to your point, you forget that he hit 186 last year. So he was a little disappointing last year, already off to a much better start, the three-home run game over the weekend. But, uh, by the way, as if the Yankees didn't need any more injury news, uh, they kind of got some more today, at least bad news. Luis Severino was already out, but then he told people that he didn't feel great after his latest long toss session. So that, according to manager Aaron Boone. So, guess what? Severino's going back to New York to get his second MRI on his shoulder. Not good, and of course, we'll wait to see. His return is unknown. 12 to 4, playing <laughs> decent baseball this year, but Chris Davis 0 for 5, 2Ks, now the major league record uh, for a bats without a hit. That's not one you want. And uh, look, hey, I mean, it's, it's, it's hard, right? I mean, he's got, he's got a monster contract. I mean, there's nothing you could say. You, you feel for the guy. Uh, and, and I'm just curious if you could relate your own experience going through a slump. What is it, what is it like yeah. going through I, a slump like that? I mean, I. I I guess what, what's so hard for me to understand is he was such a dominant player, mm. right? He signs this big contract. And then what bothers me most is, his, is the ability n- not to make an adjustment, right? Not to make a change. You're seeing these swings just like all of us are, and it looks exactly the same as it was last year. This dude hit 168 last year. That's the lowest recorded batting average for an everyday player ever, right? So if that's the case, wouldn't you try to come back and make some adjustments to get yourself ready in a game where now these guys are throwing 100 miles an hour like it's going out of style? You know, I, I feel like it just is so mental. And, and you know, hitting, you, know, you can do all the, the hitting in the cage, the mechanics, but mentally, if you're not there, it, yeah, it's not going to work. And I, I remember, you know, I, I was struggling. Bill Russell was our manager when I was with the Dodgers. And this is when games started at 7.30. He said, EK, I don't want to see you in the clubhouse. Show up not until, not any time before 7. So I pull into Dodger Stadium around 6.30, park where the fans park. <laughs> All the fans are still there. the turnstiles. I'm walking. I'm, you know. Signing autographs, taking pictures. I wouldn't know. Nobody wanted my autograph the way I was hitting it. <laughs> but I'll tell you what. So I, I ended up hitting a home run that night. So you know what time I showed up the next night? 7 o'clock. Same sort of thing. And, and more than anything, it was mental. Right. And that's why, you know, with, with Chris Davis, I mean, you can do all this. There's only one thing that is going to allow him to just exhale, and, and that's, that's getting a hit. That's you ain't lying. That's it. It's getting a hit. Yes, it's sir. getting a hit. You know, and even tonight, he goes the other way. He doesn't go the other way very often, and he hits right. a couple of eights. It's like, I want to roll just over something. 50 <laughs> offer so, that I'm anything. sprinting Two down strike first. punt, right? You, you feel something. For him. Honestly, you feel for him. <laughs> I mean, that's history tonight in the wrong kind. Hopefully, he can turn I around see you, Chris, at least a little bit uh, for these Baltimore Orioles. 